Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video we're just going to be going through the patch notes for patch 2.15.0. Um, so uh, this has just been released today and is very subject to change as we are very well aware. Uh, we did get the introduction of the rune uh, decree uh, previously uh, and that was added on after. So uh, first things first. Uh, we are going to have a look uh, and a read through and just see what is available. So, dear Omni Guardians, we will be conducting server maintenance uh, update on August 8th. So, as of this date, uh, this will be in three days' time. Uh, and that will be from 6 a.m. Uh, to 9 p.m. UTC. Uh, following this update, the first anniversary celebration event will commence. By participating in the event, you can earn rewards such as the Themis Skin 8-Ball Queen uh, and a Hero Selection item. So we appreciate your long-standing support. So let's stop here. Looks like they're going to be giving out a free skin as part of the event uh, if you do participate. Now I don't know what type of um, I don't know what type of rewards. I don't know what type of missions there are going to be uh, to get these whether i i think um to be fair this should be achievable for all players um to get this uh, over the course of the event celebration but we'll, of course we'll be doing some uh, breakdown videos on the different events uh, on the different missions that are available um and then we can uh, we can take it from there and just see how best to approach it now themis skin what do i think about themis skin giving her additional speed Mm. Uh, it, it might work I don't know She. I did see um, so somebody uh, messaged me uh, on the discord if you aren't part of the discord what are you doing go join the discord that's all I'm going to say about that they messaged me on the discord just to say um, you know is there any way that you can pass without Eudora uh, on the Rift Odyssey 100 um, and it turns out actually Themis is the key uh, to passing Rift Odyssey. So if you haven't um, tried her already, uh, my the person who messaged me um, only had her at two stars, uh, but was able to pass through uh, using various different artifacts. If you want more information about that, um, comment down below uh, and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, but yeah, Themis was uh, one of the, the units that he used uh, and she did the majority of the damage. Um, it was it was really good to see actually, uh, like he had uh, you know two star Astrid, uh, two star Themis. He had uh, five star, uh, sorry ten star Atrops. When I say two star, I mean seven star. Uh, you you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Um, two purple stars, and um, it was just nice to see that he was able to uh, to beat that uh, that particular stage. So uh, Rift Odyssey Nightmare One Hundred with a copy of Themis. Um, doing the most damage uh, so potentially this skin increasing a speed increasing overall attack uh, and probably uh, HP uh, or maybe crit chance something like that uh, I think will be really good uh, looking forward to seeing what it looks like now I think this might be the skin um, that the world arena champion AV um, I think it's how you pronounce his name uh, I think that might be the skin that he's designed uh, potentially but I don't know. They've not mentioned it on here. They just mentioned that they'll be releasing uh, a skin um, as part of the anniversary celebration uh, in collaboration with the winner of the World Arena. Uh, and that was AV. And apparently has been working on a skin. So this might be the one. Now, uh, maintenance time, uh, August 8th. Uh, 6 uh, till 9 a.m. Uh, maintenance may be extended due to special circumstances. Please refer to the actual opening time for details. So, you know, it is what it is. They might go longer. If so, we get more rewards. Uh, it is what it is. Now, update rewards. Uh, 500 diamonds and 5 summon tickets. Not bad. It's uh, a bit of extra change in your pocket. Uh, and, you know, uh, an extra uh, summon ticket towards uh, whatever uh, unit that you might want. Now, after the update is complete, update rewards will be distributed to Omni Guardians via in-game mail. Uh, please claim them in time. Yep, make sure you are claiming those rewards. I suspect that a lot of people will just claim them right away. Some people might leave them. Don't leave them. Just collect them. You know. Uh, now, first anniversary event, event duration from August 9th uh, at midnight through to August 22nd, effectively midnight. Um, that's UTC, so that is a total of... 
12 days, 13 days, something like that. So basically two weeks that this event will be going on for. So there should be plenty of time for you to collect any uh, reward bonuses uh, that we're, uh, we're going to get. And again, I'll have videos all through that time uh, just, you know, um, showing off how to complete these events um, as quickly as possible so you can get all of the goodies uh, as quickly as possible now we move on to the actual uh, details here so anniversary login event so logging uh, cumulatively during the event to receive a hero selection item and other rewards so it looks like we're going to get a hero selection item i don't know what's going to be on that uh, hero selection item it might be dd units it might just be a uh, bog standard ticket it might just be the um, you know choose any unit ticket um, we'll have to have a look uh, we'll have to see I don't know what the the details are of that um, but it's something to uh, to look into now uh, anniversary fortune wheel complete missions during the event to earn spins on the fortune wheel uh, and win rewards such as the Themis eight ball uh, queen so I think this will be like a fortune tower event so you get to uh, you get the skin or sorry you get the attempts by completing certain missions I suspect the missions will be like uh, completely uh, fight in the arena or win in the arena, um, something like that. Um, do your dailies, uh, you know, compete in the Grace Room realm, compete in, uh, do seasonal stuff as well. Uh, it might be, um, it is what it is, you know. Uh, we'll, we'll have to have a look close to the time. Uh, and you do get the Themis skin through that event as well. So take a sip. While spinning the fortune wheel, you can interact with the Valkyrie. Um, drinking her special cocktail grants you a unique buff to help earn more rewards. So it looks like we'll be able to, uh, we'll probably be able to, uh, to pick up copies uh, of the special cocktail um, and then go ahead and spin. Uh, and then it might increase chance, similar to how the oath recall works. So, you know, you get a times three chance, you get a times five chance, you get a times 12 chance. It might be very similar to that. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Um, again, this will all be happening in about three days. Uh, so three to four days. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll be making plenty of content on it. So you should uh, subscribe if you're not already, uh, just to make sure that you're not missing out. Uh, if you want to hit the bell notifications, you'll just make sure. I'll, I'll be releasing like sort of uh, two to three videos a day um, on the different events and how to proceed with them um, and what I think would be the best option to go with. Now, next one, uh, new hero, Majestic Queen Cleopatra. So we're getting, uh, I've, I've had a look at this one. This one's very interesting. Um, so Majestic Queen Cleopatra. Uh, Cleopatra features a unique fusion synergy uh, with Valkyries and Runes. Uh, synergy 1 and Synergy 2. So that's your Mystifiers, um, your uh, Valianters, uh, Dooms, etc. And also your final faction of Strikers, Monarchs, um, Shadow Arcs uh, as well. Um, this synergy... Uh, Shadow Arcs? No. Uh, so your... Um, your monarchs, strikers, uh, protectors, stuff like that. Um, now it looks like this synergy automatically adapts to align with the most common synergies in your current lineup. So, um, yeah, for example, suppose your lineup has three heroes with Mystifier's synergy uh, and one uh, with the Valiant's synergy. In that case, Cleopatra's synergy will shift to Mystifier's, making it so that you have four active heroes with the Mystifier's synergy. She might be the missing link. I don't know. And I don't know if she's going to be a DD hero or if she's just going to be a bog standard legendary hero. Um, but we'll see. I think that I think she will be bog standard. Uh, sorry, I think she will be a DD hero. And the reason for that is because she'll have a. Um, I think she'll have a. Um, a royal synergy. Uh, and also a deviant or a divine synergy, probably divine synergy. Um, you know, it is what it is. She may do, uh, or she may just be, you know, um, Shadow Arc, uh, Dawnbringer, uh, one of those. Um, but we'll we'll have to have a look at her kit when she is released. Um, now, in that case, Cleopatra synergy will shift to Mystifies, etc., etc. So very versatile unit, very versatile unit. So if you've got Say, for example, you've got uh, your four Monarch Mystifiers team. You pop her in. It now becomes a five Monarch Mystifier team. If you have, say, a four Strikers 
Synergy, uh, Glorian's team, you now have a five uh, Monarch Glorian's team. Uh, sorry, uh, Glorian Strikers team. If you have a four Phantoms team, uh, Avengers team, you now have a five Phantom Avengers team. Just getting that little, ad uh, little extra buff at the end um, of both of those synergies can be really impactful. And you won't have to mix and match because you can now have the best of both worlds. You can have your cake and eat it effectively with this unit. It's very interesting to me. Very interesting that you can then fill out um, spaces that were not previously there. Um, again, it's. I think it's going to be really good. I think she's going to be a really good unit. I think she's going to be really versatile. And we'll just have to see uh, how easily obtainable she is. If she's a DD unit, I don't think she's going to be very easily obtainable. I think you're going to have to summon by an oath for her, um, potentially. Um, so, it is what it is. Now, uh, next bit. In seasonal gameplay, Cleopatra's fusion synergy also interacts with uh, season-specific synergies. For instance, if your lineup includes three heroes with season 4 Elyse uh, Elysian synergy, Cleopatra will activate the season 4 Elysian synergy when she joins the lineup. So good for seasonal content as well uh, and I think it's going to be she's going to be very important moving forward um, because if you're looking for a unit to pop in um, say you need an additional uh, Elysians uh, to activate the fifth Elysian um, then she's going to be really good and also she's going to be able to uh, copy the uh, the team lineup that you've got so say you want to build an Elysians Doom Monarch team um, then you should be able to build that if you want to build um, uh, an Astral's uh, Valianters team, you'll be able to build that um, with this unit. So we'll see how well she fits in and what she does as well. If she's like uh, an Atrops unit, where she gives uh, attack or defense based on you know a supporting role, uh, I think she's gonna be a must get. I really do. If she's just raw damage, then she's just another damaging unit. And if she is raw damage with the kit that she's got, I don't think she's going to be doing too much damage um, if she's non-DD. If she is a DD hero, then it's going to change things up quite a bit. So we'll we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what her kit is, uh, and, and we'll find out a bit later on. I will be summoning for her, uh, just because I do want to get a copy of every single unit in the game, which I currently do have. Um, but we'll, again, we'll just have to see. Now, uh, new chat bubble frame. Uh, after using the chat bubble frame, your messages in the chat channel will feature a special text frame effect. Chat bubble frames can be obtained from the anniversary decree. So it looks like there's going to be an anniversary decree. We'll just ignore the chat bubble frame. It's aesthetics. It is what it is. You can, you know, give yourself uh, give yourself a, a bit of uh, individuality when you're chatting with people. Sure, fine. Um, but it looks like there's going to be an anniversary decree. Uh, which means that if you are willing to spend some money, um, then you'll be able to get more perks throughout there. Do I think the anniversary decree is worth it? We'll just have to see what's in it. If it's absolute garbage, I'm going to tell you it's absolute garbage. If it, if I think it's worth it, I'll, I'll let you know as well. But we need to see it first. This is all speculation. Now, feedback updates. They do listen. Yes, they do listen. I promise you that. Um, the fact that uh, this is in, so me and my good buddy Rokan, um, we were having a conversation uh, about Wukong and how cool it would be is if Wukong could change between uh, a Deviant and Divine. Um, we thought that it would be really cool if you got effectively two skins with a unit. So you had uh, on one skin, you had a, um, a Divine unit and on the other skin you had a Deviant unit to fit in line with the story. It was a really good idea, and so he suggested it to the developers. This looks to be something very similar to that, except kind of not. Um, it's more along the lines of, we've got a unit, you know, we've got we've got a peg that's gonna fit into either a square hole, a round hole, triangle hole, whatever, you know, type of hole you need it to fit into, it will. Um, and I think that's a better idea than just changing up skins. I still think that's a cool concept though. Um, they might introduce that later, but they do listen. Now, feedback updates. Uh, the favor limit of the Valkyrie's mana has been increased. The maximum level of the mana has been increased to 250. Not as much as I've seen Chrono Mirage post. I, I've seen him post sort of like every couple of days just saying, please increase the Valkyrie limit, uh, the Valkyrie mana limit to infinite. Just let us go for as long as possible. 
um, it is increasing to 250 the problem with this is if you've already maxed out um, all of the the Valkyries uh, and you're waiting on this next Valkyrie to come in uh, I don't know whether or not they're gonna add a Valkyrie in. who knows it would be nice it needs to it, it really does need to be Art Dina um, who goes in the only uh, synergy type that doesn't have representation in the mana uh, is Avengers um, and it is required they do need to start adding um, different bits of story different bits of that I think that's one failing um, on the uh, on the group here so what's the what's the point of having a maximum level of the mana if when you max out all of the Valkyrie so let, look hold on we go into Valkyrie mana mine is level 151 uh, max level, I I don't know what that is. I think it's 160, something like something like that. But I don't. Th I think it becomes redundant after 150. But look, they're all they're all level 25. This is coming. Who knows when? But they're all level 25. Am I going to go in and interact and spend all of these that I've got here? Um, you know, just on just on um, on these and waste them. Like I don't gain anything from this. This this level doesn't go up. We don't gain anything from it. If I go into story here, you know, um, the the six story, you know, interactive six uh, story six, they've not done anything with it, you know. What's what's the point? What's the point? If you if you're going to increase the level, give like five more Valkyries for us to, you know, uh, to pursue to to give us a goal of actually doing something with. They need to increase that, and I think that that's something that I, if they're going to increase the level to two fifty then you know so be it but they also need to add new valkyries in this really annoys me actually this really annoy me i'm gonna write a letter after um right two uh disable epic hero animation uh that's actually quite good um uh, the button has been added to the system settings players above 50 uh so you do need to be level 50 and above to access this can disable the animations to acquire five star heroes with the animation disabled, summoning five star heroes to advanced summons or shard fusion will no longer trigger. However, animations will still appear when acquiring legendary heroes. So, what does that mean? If I go into here, to my box, and I click into um, here, if I get a Bjorn, for example, uh, or if I get a Yasuke, um, or, you know, Gerald, then I will not. Um, it won't trigger the animation, so it won't pop up if you're above level 50 uh, and you've clicked that button. And it just it saves so much time. It really does save some time. I I don't I do enjoy seeing uh, when they pop up. So if I go into Hall of Heroes and I click on Summon, I do um, I do enjoy seeing them pop up because I know that I've got food. Then you know I know how much food that I'm getting. But it's just so annoying seeing the same characters pop up over and over and over again. I think it's a really good change. And that was um, so when I had a look uh, through the actual feedback section on the Discord. Again, if you've not joined the Discord, what are you doing? Go join the Discord. Um, this was suggested. So disabling uh, five star epic heroes, uh, the animations for them. Nobody wants to see it. You know, uh, we we get what we get. It is what it is. We don't want to see it. Let's just leave it at that. It's fantastic. It's a quality of life update. It's uh, it's good, good move. Now the world arena now includes copy defense lineup and copy attack lineup features to facilitate quick lineup adjustments. You can quickly copy defense lineup to your attack lineup or vice versa. Um, that's good. You know, um, it's it's going to save uh, people a lot of time if they're going in chopping, changing, um, and they want you know specific uh, units uh, or specific lineups, and they've spent ages doing one, then you have to go back and and redo it. I get it. You know, um, it is what it is. Um, it's a quality of life update. What I really think would be, what I really think would be cool. Oh, in fact, no, sorry. Um, what I, what I would suggest is your your defensive lineup should be different to your attacking lineup. So your attacking lineup should be focused more on dealing as much damage as possible um, to the enemies uh, as quickly as possible. Whereas your defensive lineup should be, I'm going to stick my you know I'm going to stick in the mud and I'm going to stay here forever uh, you, you, you need to work to get past me that's that's how I've been building my teams and in foggy I got up to 43 uh, I think um, just because I, I couldn't be bothered at the very end spending 10 minutes fighting um, 
there's no there's no difference in reward really from uh, top one well top top ten all the way down through to a hundred um, is what it is now other updates so this is the uh, the feedback update so people have um, suggested these uh, on the discord uh, and they have been listened to so um, these ones other updates uh, just quality of life updates Oracle summon decree adjustments refresh tickets have been added using a refresh ticket resets the hero exchange count for the Oracle shop for example uh, if the exchange count for Astrid shards in the Oracle shop is zero a refresh ticket will reset it to 10 uh, the maximum for the current month so what does that mean if we go into uh, Oracle temple I go into Oracle shop if I wanted to get more shards of Orphelia um, say for example I have a hundred ah cool right well I'll take that uh, let's pick up a copy of Elowin here had to and uh, I'll, I'll sort that in a little bit but um, say for example if I wanted another copy of Elowin and I had uh, five shards available um, or five of these new tickets the refresh tickets I'd be able to click on refresh tickets and I would be able to purchase an additional um, you know uh, 25 shards worth of Elowin so then when the reset rolls around in 26 days I'll be able to pick up uh, more copies of her if that makes sense um, for me uh, it's, it's quite interesting because if I go into my shards here uh, and I have a look I've got 30 for Christine 30 for Halissa uh, 20 for uh, Mavis, 10 for Mulan, 20 for Nerissa, and 10 for, um, for Leandra. So if these refresh tickets pop around, and I've got two refresh tickets, I have um, I can pick up my uh, Leandra shards. So I would need uh, to pick up. I would need to spend five in order to pick them up. So let me show you. Uh, I would need to spend 20 of these coins in order to pick up the 10 shards, but that would still leave me 10 shards short for another copy of Leandra, if I so chose to pick her up that way. Um, which means that I would use the two refresh tickets to be able to get two copies of her within the same month, rather than the one copy of her, and then have to wait another, um, you know, another 26, 30 days in order to pick her up again. So, just something to uh, to keep in mind. Um, now, there are there is more, also more. Um, relic summon decree adjustments. Players who have been active for more than 176 days will unlock Relic Summon Decree 2, which includes missions with rewards of epic and legendary relic shards. Um, very cool. Uh, I think it's these ones here. So, if we go into your limited events... Uh, no, it's in your benefits, sorry. So in your benefits, we've got Oracle Decree, um, we have Rune Decree, uh, we have the Eternal Decree, uh, and that's the Season 4. So um, there is a, I don't have it at the moment, but there is a Missions uh, Decree 2, where you can pick up more, um, and Oracle Decree as well. So um, what we'll see is the Relic Decree, which... Uh, I think it's 14, I oh know, I think it's 19.99 for me. It's 20 quid and you get uh, 100, uh, 150. Um, yes, yeah, so 150 of them. Uh, the relic stones or 100 relic stones, something like that. Uh, it's relatively good value. And typically I'll pick it up um, and it lasts a certain amount of time and then it will refresh a month later, something like that. Um, but there's going to be a second one, Relic Summon Decree 2, which includes missions with rewards of epic and legendary relic shards. So potentially what this will be is something along the lines of uh, spend £30 and you'll get one or two copies of uh, Spear, for example. Or you'll be able to pick up uh, copies of the new relics or the old relics. We'll have to see what relics are included within the shards themselves um, or within the chests them uh, themselves. Uh, if, it's, if it's the old relics... I think it'd be really good for new players, but for um, people who've been playing the game a long time, they may already have copies up to five stars of those those particular relics. So we'll just have to see. And now there's a Rune Decree adjustment as well. So players who've been active for more than 196 days will unlock Rune Decree number two, which includes missions with runes uh, and golden coins as well. So we saw that just then uh, in the Rune Decree. So if you've been active for more than 176 days or 196 days, you'll get a second one of these, um, which I suspect will, instead of including 
um, the bronze coins, uh, they will include the golden coins instead, uh, and also uh, include um, actual runes themselves. Or so if we go into inventory, uh, go into the rune section or the rune shard section, it may be that you pick up one or two of these shards, something like that. Um, you know, you might you might have enough to complete one of these shards. Uh, hopefully that is the case i really do hope that's the case i would really really enjoy um picking something like that up we'll have to see what the costing is for it and we'll have to see what the um we'll have to see what's included in the package itself uh before um before judging uh, i i really do I, I don't think it's just a straight you need to buy this um i think we need to look at what's included look at the value of it and if the value is rubbish i'll let you know if it's good i'll let you know so um that's it from me uh we did pick up our copy of elowin this is <clears throat> two star elowin for me so um you know absolutely love it uh thank you very much for watching uh if you do want to uh see more uh then uh, please subscribe over the course of the next couple of days while the anniversary content's going on and we will the true discipline is unbreakable. Perfect. Uh, and then we will look to uh, review anything that does uh, come in over the next uh, couple of days. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you have a great day.